Helldivers, it is update day today and we will be welcoming the Democratic Detonation Warbond, which is going to be so exciting and I am going to be going through all the news you need to know today for the launch. Now, this is the second um, paid one, which obviously, if you know, if you play Helldivers, you can grind the game enough to get it for free easily. So I hope you guys have saved up your medals and saved up your super credits to purchase this today. Now, if you do enjoy this kind of like update video and you want to stay up to date with Helldivers, please consider subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me and leaving a like on today's video and let's get in with the news. So pretty much um, if you if you know that um, Helldivers always release these updates on the same days and it will launch today, Thursday, the 11th of April. Now, as for launch time, it's always around about exactly the same time in the UK for me. That is 10 a.m. Um, but, you know, if you're in the US, that might be something like uh, between um, like a 2 a.m. to a 5 a.m. launch or something like that. But it's always exactly the same time for me in the UK. If you just type in like 10, 10 a.m. UK to your time zone, you'll find it out. Um, I don't think they've ever changed the time since the game's been released, which is fantastic. Um, how much will the um, uh, will the war bond cost? It will cost you a 1,000, very cheap, 1,000 super credits or $9.99. Now, you can choose whether you want to pay for it. But as I mentioned earlier, you don't really need to. If you grind the game enough, then, uh, you know, you're all good to get going. Now, what's coming in the new War Bond? So, the, it comes with four new weapons, three capes and three armor sets, a grenade and a ver variety of other goodies like player cards and emotes. So, let's break it down for you guys right now. So, we have the new BR-14 um, Judicator rifle. It's a fast-firing marksman rifle. While it doesn't necessarily fit into the explosive theme of the war bond, it is capable of penetrating armor, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is like. Then next up, we have the R36 Eruptor Rifle. It's a hybrid weapon, a bolt action rifle with a sniper-like scope on top. The catch is that instead of shooting big sniper bullets, it fires exploding shells. Um, it's definitely some form of exploding, hence the name of the war bond exploding weapons and then next up we have the cb9 exploding crossbow is exactly what it sounds like the, this crossbow is that shoots explosives instead of standard bolts which i think this could be very useful um i definitely think these weapons will be stronger against the bots um just because obviously we need more of that kind of firepower to take them down considering they've somehow returned again um and uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, we also have the newly announced GP31 grenade pistol, and it's a bit of an odd one. It's a sh it's shaped like a pistol, and it looks like a pistol, but it shoots grenades instead. While this sounds amazing, there is a minor catch. You need to reload after every single shot. So you've literally got a grenade inside a pistol, which by the looks of things does crazy damage, but what you're going to have to make sure you hit your shots with it, like any other grenade launcher. But the problem is with the pistol is if, if it is a secondary, which I'm guessing it will be, um, you will have to do, let's say maybe you could like switch to your secondary, use it, then back to your primary weapon or to your stratagem, whatever you decide to do. Um, and then, uh, you know, you can move it forward from there and then reload when you're ready to. But I wouldn't probably recommend reloading it in the middle of battle, which is a mistake I've made many times and having to cancel a reload when one of the times that's happened with me is reloading my big weapon no matter what it is and then a a hulk is walking right towards me and, and i'm like oh, i need to get myself out of reload right now um it's been a, a classic mistake for me in the game as for the new three armor sets, we have the addition of the CE-07 Demolition Specialist, which is light armor. We have the addition of the CE-27 Groundbreaker, which is a medium armor. And then we have the FS, no, FS-55 Devastator, which is heavy armor. So I really like how now that the game's been updated a lot more over time, They've sort of fixed the light, medium and heavy armor a lot more and made it so sure that the values of the armor actually make sense in the game because beforehand they actually hadn't had, they, the values weren't correct so they were all muddled up and mixed up but now we're good to go. 
And the grenade is a sticky grenade called the G123 uh, um, Thermite Grenade. Now, you would have seen um, in the trailer that this looks very good at taking down big, big bugs um it seems very good with taking down like uh if you make sure you hit the right spot it can like explode the giant bugs from inside causing huge damage and by the looks of this can even nearly take down one of them in one explosive this is gonna be a really fun day you guys and uh, i always love it when a new war bond drops because it means a whole day of content to try out the new weapons i'm fully loaded and ready for the game um and then something just to remember but that war bonds do not automatically grant reward rewards. I know you would know this if you're a hell divers uh, like pro now. But like a battle pass um, in like Fortnite or Destiny, you pay for the right to unlock the items. But obviously, if you know, um, these will never ever go away. Once they're here, they will always always be there for you to purchase. Because a lot of people tend to worry when a war bond comes along that one day they're gonna. Because you do get a little bit behind if you if you're not grinding the game constantly um, and you're waiting for new major major orders to be completed and stuff and then to buy your next weapon you can always go back so you know if you're someone someone that wants to even go back right to the start because you haven't even finished that or whatever you can do that and that's what's so great about this maybe a long time in the future they may take them away let's say if they do hell divers season two but they said that this is never going to be the case as of right now which is uh, which is really cool so yeah, that is pretty much the, all the information you need to know today for the new Hell Divers War Bond. Um, it it won't um, come with any patch notes from what I know because when a new War Bond gone, uh, goes live, it actually isn't. It doesn't tend to be a client patch. It tends to be a server side patch. Which if you don't know the difference, a client patch is when you actually have to download it on your PS5 or your PC, which uh, they do with like more bug fixes and additional in-game core content. Whereas sometimes they'll do a server side update, which means that it will just be integrated through your game. And, and like when you're loading up the game, the server side update will be done. So you won't have to worry about any client patches. But we'll see what they decide to do on the day. Um, but last time, as from what I remember with Cutting Edge, you didn't have to do so. So I will catch you guys all in the game. Let's go spread some democracy. Let's, uh, let's go and uh, use these new weapons. I will be releasing um uh, all the reviews on the new like first impressions on every single new weapon um in my videos and i'll be doing them separately so you guys can have a full video rundown on everything you might want to use in the new war bond much love to you all leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you in my next video very soon